Hey guys, um, so this is a two pack of the first movie, it's like a short part of the movie, Rokosaki and Hamato Yoshi, which is basically Schroeder before it became Schroeder. And uh, Hamato Yoshi was, in the cartoon it was Splinter, but in the movie it was like his master, so, um, and basically that's Splinter there. Um, so this is actually the second one I bought. Um, the first one I had, uh, the neck headpiece here broke for uh, Shredder, so I take it back. Um, have my money back and just kind of wait a while for I've seen these, but they started popping up again, and um, when I got another one, because uh, it's definitely sorely missing like my Turtles movies um, shelf. So on the side we get two pictures of Mato. Yoshi, I'm sorry, Rokosaki. <laughs> and uh, on the back, some more pictures. I like how they did like with the dark background because of the movie, that's the way it looked. Um, and I wonder like, if this one will work better with getting Splinter on his face, so the other one's kind of a mess, but that's how we get Hamato Yoshi um, there. So anyways, I'm going to open this up and take it out of the package and show y'all what it looks like. Alright, so I got everything out of the package, and there is a lot of accessories here. I keep, uh, forgot, like, how much was actually here. Um, so obviously you get Hamada Yoshi and Rokosaki. Um, for the most part, they look about the same. Same kind of sculpt, um, body and everything, too. Um, just the face, like, he's got, like, a more of a chiseled, angry look, and Hamada Yoshi is more kind of relaxed. But, some more hairstyles and all that too. One of the issues just got everything kind of faded back, like the, the top. And, uh, yeah, she's got like that. Um, I will recommend just kind of working with the foot joints. Um, you know, make sure you get it set up right, because I think that was one of the issues of mine. Um, it doesn't have like a, like a thigh swivel. It just kind of rotates at the hip. So, you might know, just widen your base, kind of get them to stand every while. Um, yeah, pretty much basic articulation. Um, double joint elbows, so you can go like that. Elbows around really good. Neck joints just kind of like a spot, which is just basically the same. And as far as bodies and molds and everything, they look about the same. Um, and you can kind of just interchange their outfits. My shoulder joint here is a little loose. So, um, let's see. He has a jacket kind of like him. Um, yeah, she does. Pretty similar to that. Uh, even the sleeves look like that too. So basically what you could do with um, Mata Yoshi is put a jacket on him like this. Let's see, I guess this is the ball part. And And it could be exactly the same. So, um, so yeah, that option. Or you could look at it as a spare for shredder, however you want to do it, I guess. Um, pop this off. Let's see, next thing is, um, you do have basically two of each with the hands. Um, you have two sets of the open hands. So, so 
that. Um, let's come in here. And then you have two of these hands, like broken hands. Out of the package, they've got like um, closed fist hands. And these are mainly for holding the staff. Just got slides on there. Well, that one did. Yeah, pretty much this is the only hands you can use all weapons I look at. <laughs> so, um, probably have to work with them. But you do get two staffs. Um, you do get two swords, which are identical. You get two of these <coughs> axes. Black handle, silver, pretty solid plastic. Um, two of these batons, I think they're called. And then two nunchucks. Um, they're different. Though. This one's solid black. Um, this is kind of like a, this might be a wire or something because as I move it, it just holds. So it don't move or anything. This on our hand um, does move. It's a chain, a very, very small chain. Um, everything else is plastic -y looking. Um, <coughs> then you get two splinters. So basically what this is supposed to do, like, I'm assuming this is the one that's supposed to be in the cage. And they both have like, um, what should we call it? Holes at the bottom. So, You do have that, or you can put them in the cage, and I'll show you how that works real quick. So the cage is kind of like a, so this is metal, this rod right here is metal, this part right here at the bottom is, I think it's plastic. And the cage is plastic, but you see the peg in the, in the center, you pop open the bottom. And you have a peg here to put underneath the splinter. It's a tight fit. You don't want to work it in there. And then just put the cage over and put it in the cage. And there you go. You got a rat in a cage. Um, let's see. Robosaki. Let's see, just pop the head off. It looks like. I think it's weird. It's just like a black ball pan, which my other one had that too. You do get like a scarred face where a splinter attacked them. And I always had trouble getting this to work, but I'm going to try it with this set. Like you had to get sweaters head on there just right. Sorry, I'm having trouble getting this hit. Oh, good. Alrighty, so I got on with that. And basically this splinter is supposed to be able to go on his face. And I remember it took some maneuvering to do this. But I kind of had to like Look at the package real quick just to see how it suggested it. Because I know it has a picture on the side or something like that of it. Yeah, it's like here. So I'm going to try to see if that works. See if I can recreate the way they did it. 
So I cut to the side and he was just kind of like that. I don't know. So you have to hit a sweet spot to get it right, I don't know. Let's see. So I wanna see if I can get them to uh, hold the pose. I'm having a hard time with that, but it takes some maneuvering to do so, but I don't know. I don't know what they could have done to make it a little better, to be honest with you, because, you know, he's just kind of like a piece, and they want to kind of put him in there like he's, you know, but it's like they sculpt him in a certain way to do so. Okay, so what I did was just kind of maneuver him underneath his jacket a little bit and to get him on there. And the only truth is just to set him up and yeah, that seems to work okay. So, I mean, you can see that right there, but yeah, I mean, that's probably what I'm going to do again. It's just like have a pose like this with a sword in his hand where he slashed um, Marayoshi and then um, or just knock you love that on his face. So I spun on his face. So it's really cool that they made this set, I think, because it's only like a you know a couple minutes of a flashback. But obviously it's very important. Um anyways guys, if you got this, just let me know what you think. Um this is a hard one to recommend. I think they did a really good job with it. It has a lot of accessories, very well done. Um however Whenever you're collecting the toys, like I'm looking at my set now and I've got like Topa Razor, the four turtles, um, <laughs> I've got like two foot soldiers posed and like two, four, two, two more two packs, so four extras. And I'm like, man, how am I gonna fill that crap on my shelf? So if you got room for it, that's kind of the question. So um, overall, I'd give it like at least a nine. I think it's very well done. It's just, you know, it really depends on you whether or not you're gonna get it or not. So. Anyways, nice watching.